Now this is one of those days I really had high expectations for but it just didn't pan out the way I either wanted or planned. I did get some nice footage and you'll be able hopefully to learn from the mistakes I made. The first one was I arrived late so as you can see it's quite light so everything in the area noticed me set the hide up which didn't help. The hedgerow now that I'm setting up on the hide does stand out a little. I've got it tucked into the hedge as best as I could. It would be better if it was on the other side of the sheet wire and among the cover but then you'd have to film and shoot through the sheet wire which is a wee bit difficult. Now the field I'm setting up in is overlooking an area that floods when there's really heavy rain. There's a, a small stream running along the bottom of it and now and again it clogs up and floods and probably half the field turns into a great big pond. Now it's ground just behind where I live and I was able to watch the pond and there was quite a lot of activity on it. And even when I arrived this morning there was a few ducks swimming about, there was a big flock of seagulls, there's always piles of starlings, a few willy wagtails and of course crows and magpies which was hopefully what I was going to decoy and get a shot or two at. But as I said, my main mistake was arriving late, it was fully light and everything saw me set up. But I decided to persevere and push on, as I could hear hooded crows calling in the background. Plus anybody who's done a decent bit of hunting will tell you, you could plan out a perfect day only to find you get absolutely nothing and wish you'd sat at home instead. And other times, when you've made a half-hearted attempt, it could turn out the best shooting day of your life. With the hide now set up, I decided to set the bait out, and I paced out about 25 yards, just to the edge of the water line there. I set my bait station up in the usual way, using a dead magpie as a decoy set up in a little wire cradle that I make, and then split and open a dead rabbit and laying that sitting just a few feet away from it. Once I got back into the hide, the wildlife started getting back to normal again. These little willy wagtails were just feeding along the edge of the water line. They're nice to watch, but I have no interest in shooting them. Plus, they're not on our general license here. After over an hour or so, I had my first visitor a magpie swooping straight over the hedge behind me and lands on the ground in front. He totally ignores the other decoy bird I have set up and goes straight into the rabbit. So I bring the rifle up to aim. The magpie starts feeding away at the rabbit and I have to time the shot for when his head's upright. This can take a, a wee bit of patience waiting for the right shot, but it's better that than missing. But I place the pellet into the back of his head, kill him outright. The little willy wagtails in the area go a wee bit nuts at the sign of the flopping magpie, but he's stone dead. So I didn't hear any other distress calls from magpies or crows in the area, so I walked out and left at the bird, hoping to reset the decoy pattern and uh, get another opportunity. But unfortunately that's where the day just didn't go to plan and nothing else came about. 
but there was a whole cloud of starlings about, feeding away at the water's edge. I'm sure some of the people in America are cursing me at the minute. Why don't I shoot those eye starlings? Well, they are on our general license here in Northern Ireland. I understand they're not in England now, but uh, I was hoping that the activity around the area would help bring in other magpies or crows, but it didn't come to pass. So I've been waiting three hours or more and the rain was starting to get heavier and heavier so I decided to call it quits. Unloaded the rifle into the lake and then packed up to go home. Sometimes hunting is like that, it just doesn't go the way you hoped or planned but you still have to get up and get out there and try. There's plenty of times I have absolutely nothing for my efforts, but you always get those one or two days that really comes together for you and you can look back and smile at. 